Hello again, everyone. Edwin Leonard back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be uh, giving you my Sagittarius October 2017 horoscope forecast. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Well, anyway, people, first thing is, while the sun, as far as October goes, will be in Libra, from the 1st to the 23rd, so there may be a uh, very strong focus on uh, for, for uh, Sagittarius on friends, acquaintances, goals, and aspirations. This could be done in a very balanced way, being very fair-minded and equitable in these matters. This could uh, really uh, also be, I mean, as far as um, having an emphasis on goals, uh, these goals can be something Libra-related such as something uh, connected with the law, such as maybe being uh, striving for being an attorney or paralegal, uh, something connected with art, uh, music, or even beauty. So, and there's really could be a need to shine in, in those matters that I mentioned connected with the 11th house as well at this time. Now, the sun, as far as October goes, will be in Scorpio from the 23rd to the 31st and of course the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius so during this time for Sagittarius well there could be a strong focus perhaps on uh, hidden adversaries things that are done in seclusion in privacy in solitude this could be about maybe a focus on the transformation perhaps of a, of a private life of someone's private life or um, personal life this could also be about maybe weeding out hidden adversaries perhaps through scorpio guile and, and being and really doing a lot of uh, perhaps investigative work uh, associated uh, with this this could be uh, something where maybe this is a time where one confronts their uh, limitations and their restrictions with a lot of uh, inner fortitude connected with the sign Scorpio. Now, the full moon will be in Aries on October 4th, and of course, the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius. So at this time, uh, it could be that Sagittarius may be uh, maybe had enough of maybe a contentious or combative romantic situation. It could be a situation with an angry or bellicose child in some cases where it's it reaches its boiling point and Sagittarius says, okay, this is enough, this is enough, this is time for this to be culminated, for this to come to an end. And it could also be the conclusion maybe of something that's very pioneering work that could be also very creative uh, in the process so anyway um, another thing is that the new moon will be in Libra on October 19th and at this time the 11th house will be highlighted and emphasized for Sagittarius so at this time there might be perhaps a new relationship maybe with somebody that may have been uh, a friend um, if, if Sag is unattached this could be uh, perhaps the start of maybe some artistic endeavor that could be tied in with one's goals and aspirations and a new period to be maybe uh, maybe for peace, maybe for tranquility, maybe with somebody that is a friend, uh, somebody that is an acquaintance, maybe something where there was a negative situation or there was some argument and discord. And this could be the new new time for the beginning process, at least, of maybe that Libra reconciliation uh, with one. And uh, anyway, well, Mercury will be in Libra as far as October goes from the 1st to the 17th. And the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius. So there can be uh, perhaps a lot of... Uh, communication uh, with friends with acquaintances that are done with a lot of Libra charm tact and diplomacy during this time this could be about maybe keep in mind the 11th house corresponds with Aquarius and this is like the house of I, I see this as house of innovation so this could be a time where perhaps um, Sagittarius may be bouncing 
a lot of ideas off friends and acquaintances that ideas that might be very innovative and ingenious so and it could be a time where also their friends themselves might be a little bit more garrulous, a little bit more loquacious during this time. There might be a lot of short, more short journeys with friends and acquaintances and conversations regarding aspirations and goals. So anyway, well, Mercury, as far as October goes, will be in Scorpio from the 17th to the 31st. And the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius. So at this time, well, Sagittarius might have a lot of um, incisive, uh, probing uh, communications, maybe that are, are private. It could be a lot of this in investigation. That could probably, this could be a very auspicious time for people that are like private investigators. Uh, it could also be a period where getting to the heart of the matter in, in matters pertaining to limitations and restrictions, really digging deep and investigating what could be maybe the root of these things. And really, uh, it could be uh, really doing some work, assimilating information in terms of uh, maybe something Scorpio related, such as uh, astrology, um, the occult, supernatural psychology, uh, things connected with investigation, but do, but doing this in privacy, doing this in solitude and seclusion. So anyway, also um, Venus will be uh, in Virgo as far as October goes from the 1st to the 14th and the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius. So there can be perhaps money, uh, maybe even more money than usual made in a career or vocation that could be Virgo related and it could be more enjoyable than usual. It could be done uh, with a lot of analysis. It could be something connected with extrapolation of data, something detail, very detail oriented. And really uh, this could also be if unattached, maybe Sagittarius finds a prospective romantic partner that's connected uh, with their career or their vocation. This could be a time too that could be very peaceful as far as the reputation goes uh, for Sagittarius and one may come across as rather scrupulous as far as the public image and it's really um, a time too where um, perhaps money may come from an authority figure at this time. It could be it could be a, maybe a uh, Maybe even uh, could be the dominant parent, which is often the father at this time. So those are some things to look at as far as that goes. Now, Mars will be, uh, I'm sorry, Venus, as far as October goes, will be in Libra uh, from the 14th to the 31st. And the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now, this is a time where uh, it, it's, it could be very auspicious for peaceful relationships with friends, with acquaintances at this time. This could also be good for perhaps money tied into one's aspirations and one's goals. And it really, and it's about having, being Libra, it could be very balanced uh, goals at this time. And also, this is also about, I mean, what one enjoys. Venus could be about what one enjoys and it could, and it's really, uh, it could also be the enjoyment of something Libra-like through perhaps mediation. It could be reconciliation, maybe even art. And this could be tied in perhaps with friends and with acquaintances. And, and really, and, and there could be an enjoyment of peace with these people as well. So anyway, well, as far as October goes, Mars will be in Virgo from the 1st to the 22nd. And the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius. I'm sorry, that would be the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius. And this could be perhaps uh, a lot of energy and vitality that is put into uh, one's career, one's reputation and public image. And this could be done very meticulous and scrupulous Virgo fashion and being really maybe a, almost a perfectionist at this as well. Virgo is a sign, of course, that's very punctilious with details. And this could be something where 
uh, this person, I mean, Sagittarius might be putting a lot of energy into things that are associated with cleaning and, and keeping things organized. And that energy can very well go into one's career uh, matters. And also keep in mind that this could also be a period where it might, things might be a little bit more heated and combative and contentious with authority figures, superiors, um, even possibly government, people that are in the government, and also maybe even the dominant parent, which is often the father. And this could be done with a lot of Virgo, uh, you know, complaining and, and criticizing and could be some acrimonious outbursts that are rather critical. Uh, so anyway, well, as far as October goes, Mars will be in Libra from the 22nd to the 31st. Uh, and this will emphasize and highlight the 11th house for Sagittarius. So at this time, well, Sagittarius might have some more, some acrimonious experiences, perhaps with friends, with acquaintances, and a lot of balance energy could be put perhaps into uh, goals and aspirations. And this could be something where if there's arguments with friends and acquaintances, this could be done perhaps with a Libra like passive aggressive nature where there's not literal actual, there's not a lot of yelling and arguing or, or anything physical or fisticuffs or what have you, but it's just done perhaps more by maybe being unresponsive, for example, maybe people, friends, and acquaintances might be ignoring your requests, or you might be doing the same thing uh, with them. And, and really, that's where what that's what I see this as possibly being at this time for Sagittarius. So, anyway, well, um, Jupiter, as far as October goes, will be in Libra. From the 1st to the 10th in the 11th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius. So at this time, there could be a very strong emphasis perhaps on friends and, and bringing uh, qualities perhaps. And, 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 and really, this could be very fortuitous and fortunate for matters with friends and acquaintances by bringing that Libra ability to negotiate, to be charming, to be tactful and diplomatic for compromise. Also, there could be a lot of enthusiasm and exuberance expressed with goals and aspirations that may often be very balanced. It could be something Libra related, such as uh, something with the law, like paralegal work, uh, uh, doing something, uh, being an attorney, working as a judge, a, a bailiff. This also could be, a, could be a time which could be maybe fortuitous, I mean, for maybe legal situations, maybe with somebody that may have been a former friend or an acquaintance that you uh, that you know, or so, former friend that may have become an adversary is what I'm saying, so, and, and maybe in, in emerging victorious in a legal situation, with, or maybe for a friend or an acquaintance. So, anyway, um, also, uh, Jupiter will be in Scorpio as far as October goes from the 10th to the 31st and the 12th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius at this time. So this could be a very fortunate and lucky period for perhaps for private matters for doing things in seclusion. It could be it could be very extensive research in seclusion, doing things. Uh, of an investigative and probing nature, things associated with astrology, the occult, the supernatural, uh, transformation, making major changes, but doing so privately. It could also be fortuitous, perhaps, for being triumphant over uh, hidden adversaries, perhaps using a lot of that inner uh, courage and fortitude associated with the sign of Scorpio. So, anyway. Well, Saturn will still be in Sagittarius, and the first house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius. So this could be a time where Sagittarius, I mean, in some cases, there might be a tendency to, to drop a few pounds at this time, which is, could be very auspicious and advantageous for Sag, because Sagittarius often is overweight. Uh, it could be a time where Sagittarius shows a lot of more discipline, and structure in the life. Um, it could be a time where, I mean, you look at this too, that 
uh, for Sagittarius, there might be uh, older people, authority figures might have an impact on their philosophical outlook and their approach uh, to life as well. And it could be also be where Sagittarius might come across a little bit more despondent, a little bit more melancholy than usual at this time. And it could, could be obvious for Sagittarius, perhaps more so than the other signs, because Sagittarius is known, of course, to be very buoyant, expansive, and, and very optimistic. So anyway, um, another thing, um, Uranus will still be in Aries. So as far as October goes, uh, the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius. So there might be some unpredictable situations, perhaps with children, maybe somebody in a love, a romantic relationship. And they might be ones that might be somewhat acrimonious and combative as well. It could also be a time where in some cases, uh, if a female, that there might be an unexpected perhaps child may be born, maybe comes earlier or later. There might be something unusual connected uh, with the birth uh, of a child at this time. And it could indicate too that if children, if applicable, might be showing ingenious and innovative qualities as well. And also too, that there might be some fluctuations connected with gambling and speculation. And, and, they, and these, if, if this is what Sagittarius is doing, Sagittarius often is involved in this. I mean, this is the sign. I look at Sag above the other signs, really, it really can have that reckless gambler syndrome, so to speak. So Sagittarius is gambling. This could be a time where there can be some upheaval and up, many ups and downs uh, connected with this. So anyway, well, Neptune will still be in Pisces, so the fourth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius. So there might be, uh, in some cases, I mean, Neptune will be retrograde, and that is like going back. So it could be some uh, prominent family member, if previously involved in, in recreational drug use and or alcohol could be going back to this. It could be the less dominant parent, which is the mother, or somebody that Sagittari Sagittarius may just simply feel close to home with. And there also might be some confusion connected with one's roots and traditions at this time as well. So, uh, and also to remember that Neptune is involved with gas. So be very careful in chemicals that there, there's really, uh, as far as but for example, a radon or something, maybe may, there might be greater propensity for that to be in the home at this time than usual, or some kind of something chemical related that could be detrimental uh, to uh, to Sagittarius during this time. So, though, I mean, as far as in the home, and uh, anyway, well, in the fourth house also remember that it represents the end of life and. At this time, I mean, there might be, as far as making plans for the end of life, there might be a little confusion at this time. And in this situation might be a little bit nebulous for Sagittarius in terms of what, what he or she may be doing as far as that goes, and as far as possibly making plans at this time. So um, as, far, as far as the end of life and the retirement period. So anyway, well, Pluto will still be in Capricorn, and of course, the second house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius. So, some, keep in mind that Pluto, unlike Saturn, can actually obliterate and destroy. Saturn is more about restriction and limitation. This could be an obliteration of a financial endeavor for Sagittarius at this time. Sometimes government or Capricorn related, something that could be an executive or leadership position could be another example and uh, or something connected with business. But on the positive side, Pluto is also about rebirth. So if something is destroyed. It can often be it could also be reborn and come out differently than than when it was when it when it when it was obliterated. So in other words, I mean, it could be a time for Sagittarius might leave a, a job or a job or whether it's termination or whatever happens but there could be another one around the corner and 
Also, there can be upheavals connected with things of a monetary nature this time. There might be a strong need to have more power and control over resources and possessions uh, than usual. And also, this is about having control, really, of one's uh, self-worth and self-esteem. It might seem at this time for Sagittarius that there, these feelings of self-worth and self-esteem might be somewhat obliterated, which, of course, for Sagittarius, it could be more detrimental to them than, the, uh, than a lot of the other signs because Sagittarius can epitomize happiness, expand, expansiveness, and optimism. So, anyway... Um, the North Node will still be in Leo at this time, so the Ninth House is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius. And this could be about a time for Sagittarius where one takes pride and dignity in one's philosophies, one's religion, perhaps. And in doing so in, in a way where they have a lot of that Leo courage and fortitude, self-assuredness and confidence as well. And this could be too about really um i think the one thing to, to, to look at too is that the north node is pertaining to our future it's what we're going toward and it could be things with higher education as well it could be doing something leo related like maybe studying to be a cardiologist as an example doing something maybe with cre uh, creative uh, work could be creative writing uh, something maybe studying for the theater uh, perhaps uh, something where, I mean, it could be some work with, with children even. So these are some um, these are some things to look at as far as this goes. Now, the Black Moon Lilith will still be in Sagittarius, and the first house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sag at this time. So there might be some unveiling of maybe a physical nature about Sagittarius at this time that maybe he or she didn't want to come out. You know, it could be something Sag related, such as like maybe the thighs, uh, for example, or, or something with the hips, something Sagittarius related that might be something not right and didn't want, want to come out, but maybe it may at this time. It could be over some kind of philosophical outlook that maybe Sagittarius didn't want somebody to know and it could just be something as I stated before something it could be something with the physical body or something with the the really the maybe something with the personality that uh, Sagittarius was reluctant to uh, have come out but it is but it is something that, that may very well come out at this time whether Sagittarius wants it to uh, or not so anyway well, last but not least, Chiron will still be in Pisces, so the fourth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted for Sagittarius at this time. So this could indicate perhaps uh, some um, maybe emotional wounds in the home. It could be with somebody in the family member that might, in some cases, could be drug or alcohol related. This could be over maybe some, uh, maybe some confusion perhaps in the home and or something with the home life it could be something connect some confusion connected with the roots their tradition it could be something over something chemical related i don't mean necessarily recreational drugs but it could be something in the home that might be for example a release of gases i talked about before like radon or something it also keep in mind this could also be about doing about healing as well and remember Chiron is the wounded healer but Sagittarius at this time might be healing people be, be apt to healing people in the home close to home maybe the less dominant family member which is often the mother and doing so being supportive using that Piscean like compassion and empathy at this time and in doing things can, that are that are very self-sacrificing in the process so anyway people that'll conclude this youtube astrological segment for my sagittarius october 2017 horoscope forecast stay tuned next time where i'll be giving you my capricorn october 2017 horoscope forecast two things i want to get with you on before i head out 
Firstly, the stars may impel but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, planetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.